Chances are you've heard of the body mass index, but is it a good way of checking whether you're healthy or in shape? Well, not really. Here's what the BMI leaves out. BMI doesn't account for ethnicity. For a given BMI, people of Polynesian background, for example, actually have lower body fat than someone from a European background. But for Asian populations, the opposite is true. And for that reason, there's countries like Singapore, which have revised their BMI guidelines. BMI doesn't account for body shape. So the metric is less accurate if you are very tall, very short or muscly. Professor Louise Bauer from the University of Sydney, for example, um, says that if your body fat is more centrally distributed, so around your middle, um, that's associated with higher health risks than if um, you have a classical pear-shaped distribution where the fat's around the buttocks. BMI doesn't account for a whole lot of other important factors. Dr. Fiona Willer, a dietitian and lecturer at the Queensland University of Technology, really takes issue with this panic about body weight. She says, you can't assess nutrition from body size. So why do we use it? Well, it's because it's simple. At a population level, BMI can help predict conditions. However, some Australian experts say that making health judgments based on a single number can be stigmatising and potentially harmful. So maybe we need a more nuanced way of measuring health than simply looking at just a number.